Here's your daily dose of information. Factorials. So, what are factorials? Well, it is a math operation that multiplies a number by all the positive integers that are less than that number. How you can look at it and how it is denoted is by an exclamation point. So, the factorial of 5 would look something like this. So, let's do the factorial of 5. Oh, I cannot draw that well. But let's do the factorial of 5. Well, as I said earlier, you multiply all the numbers less than that, uh, and mind you, all the numbers have to be positive numbers. So, this would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, when you do all this, it's 12, 24. So, it's 24. This equals 24, all of this. But again, you have to multiply this by the original number that you are finding the factorial of. So, if you were to take 5 times 24, well, this would be 120, which means the factorial of 5 is 120. The numbers go up very quickly when using factorials. If we uh, find the factorial of 10, mind you, the factorial of 5 was 120, so what is the factorial of 10? 10. This scales up very quickly because just by doubling this, we will see that multiply all of these numbers that are less than 10. If we were to multiply all this, 9 times 8 times 7, etc., this would give us 362,880. But again, remember we need to multiply the original number onto this. So you could just say 10 times this, but I'm just going to do it down here. 10 times 362,000, <laughs> excuse this handwriting with the mouse, I'm not very good at this. Um, so if we were to take that times 10, well that would be th uh, 3 million, let me see here, 3,620,800. Uh, so that's the factorial of 10. So that's just my point is that the factorial, the numbers that I give really scale up really fast just from going from 5 to 10. So by going up to 10, we're already in the millions. So how could this be used in the terms of Roblox Studio? Well, I don't really know. I asked ChatGPT, and this is what it gave me. So, you know, I, I guess if you want to take that information. But I also looked on the dev form, and people don't think it's really useful. It's just a practice type thing. So I... You guys can find your own use cases. You guys can come with your own, but we can still make it in Roblox Studio. So we're going to insert a script into server script service, and we can start actually making our own factorials. So usually the factorial, uh, we're just going to call this n, this n. So we're going to find the factorial of, again, 5 to prove my point from earlier. I'm going to keep using 5 here. And we're also going to get a product. And... Our products can be used to multiply all of these numbers. Uh, so we're going to set this to 1. And we're going to say for number is equal to 1, comma, uh, n minus 1, do. We're going to say product. We go to product times number. And once we have this, we can get our final result down here. So final result, uh, this is product times the n. So this for loop is getting all the numbers less than 5, and then down here we're multiplying 5 by all the numbers less than that, uh, that we multiplied on this line. And then we are going to print final result, so when we run this we can actually get it in the output. And so we're going to open up our output and we're going to click run, and this gives us 120, so it does work. Now you could even make this easier. If you want to put this in a function, you can do that too. So we're going to make a function, and we're going to call it uh, just factorial, I guess. That works. And we're going to pass in our n. So you guys could say this is easier. You could say this. We're going to say if n is less than or equal to 0, then we're just going to return 1. Because if it's 0, then we can't really you know, multiply that because everything times 0 is 0. And if it's less than that, then it wouldn't work because factorials only take all the numbers less 
all the positive numbers less than that number. So then just to close this off, we're going to say end. So we're going to go down and we can then say return n times factorial and n negative 1, just like this. So now you guys can come down here and we're going to call the factorial function at first and we're going to pass in our 5 again. We can test other numbers in a bit, but I just keep going rolling with 5. And again up here, this should always be a number. So uh, we're passing our 5. We are also going to print this so that we get that result. All right, so we are going to run the game, open up our output, and there, once again, is 120. So could be, could, you know, you could consider this an easier way. It's in a function format, so it probably is a, a lot more convenient to you guys. That's another way how you can make, like, a factorial calculator. And... Once again, we can test with other numbers, so I'm going to pass in 10 here, and before, the factorial of 10 gave us like 3.6 million, we're going to play this again, and there is our 3.6, uh, yeah, 3.6 million, I just had to count, make sure that was what it was, but yeah, there is our factorial of 10, let's go from 10 to 20, and we will see that it is yeah that, <laughs> yeah, that is the factorial of 20. Let me actually see what that is. Okay, so I'm looking at it right here, and this number right here is 2 quintillion, 432 quadrillion, 902 trillion, 8 billion, 162 million, 640,000. That is an insane number. The factorial of 20 is going into the quintillions, and that's pretty insane. And yeah, guys... This was today's daily dose of information. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.